So uh, I, I come from Bologna. I'm uh, at the University of Bologna. And uh, this icon here is Virtual Square, which is uh, a team uh, which is developing in solutions, tools, ideas in the field of virtualization. VUOS, uh, give your processes a new view. View, uh, it's, uh, it's not an acronym. It must sound like uh, view. So, which is the point? Uh, what, is, what a process can, uh, can view? A process running on an operating system is able by itself uh, to, uh, to execute machine operations, is able by itself to uh, access its own memory, but uh, everything else uh, must be uh, obtained through system calls. So the environment, the view, the panorama that uh, the process is uh, seeing outside uh, it, its world, uh, it's uh, given by the answer, by the reply that the system calls gives you back, gives it back. Okay, so namespaces in the kernel are ways to provide processes with different views, different views on a file system, different views of net, on networking, different views on process IDs, user ID, or whatever. What we are designing with VOS is something similar, but completely uh, developed to continue com completely running in user space with just user permissions without the need to be root. This, this uh, can reduce dramatically the, uh, the attack surface because we don't use uh, uh, namespace feature in the kernel. So you can imagine to run a kernel with the namespaces disabled. And at the same time, uh, we, uh, uh, we provide uh, solutions that are available to standard users. Nowadays, it happens uh, so often that uh, uh, solutions, tools, uh, are provided for system administrators. But that it means that uh, uh, a, some it's another way to, to enlarge the, the, the tax surface as uh, faulty programs, uh, bugs, uh, can create uh, damages to the system. So what the idea uh, starts, the idea come, comes from a need. Uh, why it is not possible for a, for a user to mount a file system? If I have a file system image, it's a file of mine. So mounting a file system image and uh, changing the contents of the files, including that file system image uh, once mounted, is just uh, a sophisticated editing of a file of yours. Why is it uh, forbidden in, a, in a, a standard system? Just because uh, the idea of mount uh, is an idea of uh, a global operation of the system. This operation either is provided as a global operation uh, as in the past, or it is provided just as to a subset of processes, but, but by the kernel in these spaces. Instead, it must be possible to mount file systems as users. Uh, uh, in this presentation, I want to show you first what and why, and then at the end, how, the reverse way around. So 
which are other applications. I can need uh, a virtual device, so I want to create uh, a RAM disk for my application. So if it's a RAM disk for my application, why I need to pilot, why I need to, to, to uh, need uh, kernel services? Or I want to use a different uh, uh, network stack. Or I want to see a file which is here, there, like the, the bind mount. Or I want to remount the entire file system in a, a, in a cow mode, in a copy and write mode. I want to change the, the name, the time, user ID, whatever. But I want to do everything in user space, user permission. So instead of, uh, I have slides with demo, but I prefer to, to provide with you with uh, a demo. Reset. Here I have. Uh, Here I have a, a file system image. I would like to do this. Because this is the natural way to mount a file system. Actually, I get from the kernel, actually not from the kernel. This is a, an error of the tool. It's the mount tool that say you're not root. This is an error of the tool. But even if you try to, to, to call the system call, you get the error. How can you do that? You start a VOS machine. This window is running inside the machine. Again. If I try to mount this, uh, I get the error. But uh, if I uh, add uh, the module to provide the file system virtualization and uh, mount this uh, just uh, saying uh, the type of a system and uh, to, as a workaround to the mount command error, I have to use view mount, which is a mount you can use view mount to mount uh, everything else, but uh, uh, it, uh, it tries the system call. Wow. What is now nice about life? Hey, okay. The problem is that, uh, OK, now I have mounted the file system, but just uh, for this. Uh, OK, this, actually, this is mounted, but this is another file system, as you can see. So I've mounted my file system over there. This is just an example. Uh, OK, let us start another virtual machine. Uh, I have here some comments to, to be. OK, let us this time, uh, if I can. Pick up the command. I add two models. One is for virtual devices, one is for virtual files. And with this command, I create uh, a virtual device named dev RAM disk, which is a RAM disk 100 megabit, megabyte large. So as a user, I can create uh, a file system on the RAM disk. Then I can mount the file system 
And now on slash mount, uh, I have the new file system which is uh, into the, the RAM disk. I want to point out that I'm using the commands that I use as a ordinary system administrator outside the, the, the virtual machine. So uh, one of the goal of the process is to use the natural commands to do what you need. Let us go farther. Uh -huh. this, is a, this is a common problem I had. I always forget the commands to uh, loop mount uh, partition of uh, file system image. For example, if you have a Raspberry Pi, the image has two partitions. If you want to mount one partition to change one file, it is a mess. And second, you need to be root. Now I'm showing you how to access the partition of a, of a uh, Raspberry Pi image as a user. So, again, uh, I add the two models. Now I use uh, another, another virtual device module, which, uh, which is Partix. Uh, and you can see that uh, an image I've just downloaded from uh, Raspberry Pi uh, site. And now I have uh, in slash dev slash sdx, uh, my disk, so I can uh, okay. Uh, I'm not root, so I need. Uh, you can see the partitions, okay. And given it, there are STX one, STX two, I can mount STX two. So I can mount uh, the second partition. Here I have uh, the root, uh, the, 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 the root partition of the uh, Raspberry Pi. I could change uh, the, the file, uh, do whatever I want. Or let's, let's continue. Okay, now let us play with another toy, networking. Mm -hmm. The model for networking is uh, Vionet. Now, what, uh, let me try. Okay. Uh, let us try this experiment. This is uh, uh, quite uh, a new development. Uh, it's uh, already unstable, but uh, I want to. Yes, development, uh, the development uh, uh, I have uh, uh, created together with uh, Daniela Camera. This is uh, uh, Pico TCP. As a, st as a user mode stack uh, in uh, VOS. And uh, given that uh, Pico TCP is connected to VD networking, I've used it as the, a the, uh, networking interface Slurp, which is the, the tool used by virtual machines to provide uh, user-provided uh, user networks. Now, uh, we provide uh, uh, in VOS uh, different stacks at the same time in order to change uh, to the side. And you can see I've mounted the stack in DevNet Picox uh, in order to say I want to use that uh, network because now I have my, here I have my interfaces. But uh, if I say view stack, uh, I open a bash, uh, and in this bash, uh, I have uh, the Pico TCP interfaces. Uh, it's uh, a choice. Uh, Pico TCP uses uh, a hash uh, 
uh, it is. So it's quite different from standard networking because usually you have the name, the, the number of the interfaces zero, one. We have the, but uh, now I can self configure the network using a standard DHCP uh, client. Okay. Now I've got the address, and again, uh, this is my, house, my, my, my machine, uh, my, my computer in Bologna. I've used the stack in the virtual, in the, uh, in the virtual environment. Okay, uh, final, final demo. This is uh, the current time. Now I can start a VOS uh, machine. And now I start another submodule, Misho. And this time, uh, and I, I start another X clock. Uh, Now, I mount, uh, let me move this clock, which is, uh, now I mount uh, uh, the, the, the module, Vumish time in mount, uh, and it is like uh, a approach uh, file system. So, uh, mount contains some uh, fake files, and I can use this to change the view of the process regarding time. For example, if I put uh, two in uh, mount frequency, uh, you can, as you can see, we have uh, relativistic machines. So the time in the virtual machine runs twice as faster as the time in the in the normal life. Okay, so as you can see, this, uh, the idea of UIS is providing means uh, to provide the processes with the view we need uh, to solve problems. So we have started from the solution. We have started from uh, what is useful. Now I can uh, show you uh, okay, uh, all the demos I've done now are in the slides, uh, so you can test the, by yourself, if you like, uh, all the demos after the, the, the talk. This is the structure of the of, of OMView, which is an implementation of OS. We can, uh, we can provide further implementation in the future. There are processes in, uh, in the user space, and uh, there is uh, a, we use system call interposition to decide this, to decide which uh, system call but must be forwarded to the kernel in case you, you are, you are, uh, uh, um, you are accessing part of the system which are real, or the system call are completely implemented in the hypervisor code. In order to, to have them to, to uh, achieve the better results uh, with parallelism, we use uh, a technique that we have named the guardian angels. So each process running in the user space has in the hypervisor a thread which is providing the virtualization for that thread or process. So each process in the user space has a guardian angel thread in the hypervisor. So if a process runs an open, the guardian angel try, tries to see if the path uh, is in a 
real on a virtual part. If it's, it's the real part, it simply says the process forward the, the call to the kernel. Otherwise, the guardian angel uh, and the, the, the model choice is for the choice of virtual or real, and, to, and in case it's virtual, it returns the module which is responsible for the virtualization. Okay. So, the, the system call, uh, there are wrappers that get from the user memory all the parameters, what is needed to perform the virtualization, and uh, the system call is forwarded to the, the module. Few, we have seen in the, in the demos, Fuse, Dev, Net, uh, and uh, uh, the, the implementation of file system, networking or devices or whatsoever, uh, really perform the, the actual action to have the result. Uh, I have two points to, 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 to note now. One is I have, uh, in, a, in an example, I have, cre I have created a virtual device and inside, inside the virtual device, a virtual file system. So this was uh, a nested virtualization. So uh, try to think that uh, we open a file in the virtual file system. That uh, uh, call is forwarded to be fused for the virtualization of the file system. How can we achieve the virtualization of device on this? The, the hypervisor uses a self-virtualization uh, method. Pure libc, pure libc is uh, a, a overlay of, on libc that uh, is able to uh, grab, uh, to catch uh, all the system calls uh, generated by the process itself. So, even the, the uh, read or write from a view fuse uh, is uh, returned to the choice function, and if it sees that there is a further virtualization in place, uh, it calls, uh, the, in this case, the device virtualizer, and uh, the, for example, for the RAM disk, uh, and it provides the correct answer. Let me point out that uh, the interface to the modules is clean, simple, let me see, KISS, keep it simple and stupid. The modules receive just the system calls. So if there is a read here, read, file descriptor, buffer, length, over there the module receives a read. File descriptor buffer length. Okay, so a module uh, is simply uh, uh, created by registering the service to the hash table. So one module can register. I can. Uh, I am responsible for th this subtree of the file system, or I am responsible for that uh, file, or I am responsible for that address family, I am responsible for that or the other system call. Uh, and then uh, it has to provide the implementation of the system call. If uh, somebody want to access that kind of file, so there is a read, what must be the answer? That's all. Okay, I have no time to show the code, but everything is available. We have a, we have a, a wiki site. We are redesigning the wiki site, the most important Here is the set of repositories, and uh, there is uh, actually 
an infrastructure for a tutorial. We provide uh, a we provide a disk image and scripts uh, to uh, make it uh, easy for whoever wanna try the, the tools uh, to have the, the whole infrastructure ready to uh, perform the experiments I've done five minutes ago. So feel free and uh, please uh, download the image, try the tools, uh, and uh, if, you, if you like, if you want to participate, the project is open to all contributions. Thank you. Uh, user mode Linux. Sorry? Uh, how do you compare uh, Vue OS with uh, Gmod Linux? Uh, user, user mode Linux, uh, uh, I compare user mode Linux to Vue OS or UMU. User mode Linux uh, creates a, a complete virtual machine, so it boots an entire kernel. We don't boot anything. We just uh, uh, put the system in a, a condition to grab the system call and divert the execution of the system call to modules if required. So uh, two points. Uh, uh, oops. Mm. OK. We use BFS uh, to accelerate the, 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 the grabbing the the system call catching. Now we can do just uh, the uh, avoiding the second call. Each time a, a, a system call is uh, uh, is grabbed by Ptrace, uh, you, you receive two calls, one before and one after. So using BPF, now we can avoid the second call whether the, the, the system call is completely real or completely, or completely virtual. We have a system calls that are at the same time real and virtual. For example, open. We have a, a, a virtual open, but at the same time we force the process to make a real open because we have to, uh, to uh, uh, allocate a file descriptor. Okay. We would like to uh, to uh, offload uh, many parts of the of the decision process in the kernel, but we would need the eBPF with SecComp, which is a long discussion in the Linux kernel mailing list. So, if uh, you are interested and uh, you like the project, I help us to to convince uh, the Linux kernel mailing list to add the eBPF uh, for the SecComp, uh, uh, SecComp uh, system call. Okay, I think we're um, at the end of this dev room today. Uh, thank you for uh, everyone who participated. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you.